The other little guy is an American Pika, and this encounter was really by accident. We've seen the signs, there's pictures of them that they're found in Myra Canyon, but we've never spotted them. And they're quite rare, so it was really a pleasure. We're walking back from our encounter with the golden hair mantles. When these little guys, Cindy spotted one of them on the rocks. They're fast, they're called rock rabbits. The pika is called a rock rabbit. They're fast, they're small, they don't have any tail, they have a little furry ear, rounded, and they're somewhat scarce and uh, very easily spooked. So what we did is something that works for us quite often is we sat down and waited because he would run away and hide and then he'd come back out and you had to be really watching. I mean people on bicycles who are touring this fantastic area might not even be aware of these creatures living out there but they are. They can be seen and found if you're cautious and obviously if you're very lucky. So there we were, we were sitting down and he came back out and started eating grasses, gathering them up in his little cheek and hauling them off. So it was an amazing encounter. Now since we've come home I started looking up the pika on the internet and it's really interesting that they're, well first of all it's not interesting but it's sad that they're disappearing in North America. Part of the reason is because they're very susceptible to climate change. The warming up of our planet is very harmful to them. They can't survive warm temperatures and heat. And uh, in, in the article uh, by the World Wildlife Fund, they call them a barometer on climate change. Now, whenever he ran away, of course, back came our friendly little golden mantle ground squirrel so there's always something to see but for us one of the highlights and this is the very first time I've seen them in the wild or actually even became aware of them it's the very first time we've seen the American Pika in Myra Canyon